Hey guys, welcome to the studio today. A full music production day, no distractions. Just sitting here in the studio, making music and sharing with you like one of the, the more recent songs I'm working on right now. It still doesn't really have a name. If any one of you has a suggestion, please let me know. It's an instrumental. It will also be released on the label of Lost Frequencies, probably in October. There's still a lot of stuff I need to take care of. But like the main section, I think today I can get it to the point where it's perfect and share with you how it's done, or at least how I do it. The key today is to really keep it simple. This song is a perfect example, especially the drop, because it just consists of kick, bass, and a main synthesizer that is divided into two or three layers, but it's it's just like for convenience working in it. That's the entire project right now, just 35 tracks. Again, it's still like work in progress. Let's zoom in right here, because the stuff that is right now soloed is the stuff we actually really hear and need. So let's let's listen first to this part. Again, very simple, but I think sound-wise, it's it's almost there. I think like with like a hint, a hint, hint, hint of mixing, I mix it already a little. I think with that and mastering, you're there. You're at a level where I think every label will take your song and not say we don't want it because it doesn't sound professional enough. It's then more a matter of style, it's more a matter of your social media following, your standing, your connections. But this is like a, a good platform, a base, where your song sounds good enough so no one complains about like the, the technical side of things. We have here a very simple kick, it's very clean. It's a sample I'm already using for, for quite some time. Always when I find a kick that is good, I bounce it out, put it in a special folder. This folder is as a sample pack also available to you if you're interested. It's the first link in the description. You can download it, use the same exact same kick and build your track around it. It's the foundation of a song. It's something, yeah, that half just by accident you find the right kick, half is like experience and shaping it. This one right here, I EQ'd extremely heavily. I don't know why, but it, it just felt like it works. Let's let's hear it with and without the EQ. Huge change. Uh, usually I don't EQ that much, but I don't know, for, for some sort of reason in this song, it just made more sense. The next part is a bass line. And as you can hear, the, the bass line is like automated in a quite dramatic kind of way to make it more interesting. The less tracks you have, the less elements you have, the easier it is to mix, but the more boring it gets. And to prevent it from being boring, you have to use effects over time, automation, or maybe some bounce out audio effects, risers and, and stuff like that. And the bass sound, I, I can't play it to you because I recorded it with the Super Jupiter, like a real analog synth. But I still have the MIDI here. Very simple. I think both of them are Diva. Didn't like them, so I used the real deal. And I started automating the cutoff a little. You can hear it in the transition part. Again, for that added interest, and there is on the channel itself an EQ, just cutting a hint of the low end. Then a lossy, very nice, cool plugin. Lossy is the one that I automated. It's it's that effect that you hear. It's the jittery kind of thing. Just again for the interest. Then we got a decapitator for that extra crunch. Just a hint, like 
roughen it up a little. And then LFO tool for the side chaining, heavy, heavy side chaining. Just to make sure kick and bass never kind of play together. Maybe, like just listening to it right now, the side chain doesn't need to be that like long. Because the kick is actually short and snappy, so if the kick ends, the bass should be back in again. If there's a too big gap, you hear the kick, the bass is still gone and then kicks in. And what else? We got a reverb on, on the bass, a Valhalla Vintage Verb, and I cut it all of the low frequencies below 520 hertz. We don't need that, just a lot of room for the top end of the bass to make it sit nicely in the mix. If I have like a, a pure sine sub bass, a very low one, I don't have reverb on it. But here, since we have the, the cutoff opening up, I want to have some room and feel to the higher frequencies. Let's see, what else do we got right here? We have like the main pad sound. It's just there to give it a certain vibe and it's there to give it like an accent on the one and to fill out just frequencies like it, it's basically almost like a white noise it's just there to fill it out it has a nice tone to it really like it diva just those are the settings if you want to copy them or i don't know maybe it's just a preset i don't remember it the cutoff i haven't played around with it that's maybe something i will automate but right now i don't feel like it being really needed a compressor Just like to like like the it always hits on one and I didn't want it to hit that hard and I want to bring out the sustain a little more. So the compressor is pushing down on the initial front part of that sound and making it more equal so we have like a pad that sustains and, and has more pressure throughout. LFO tool again just to make room for the kick. And then we got two more layers that are actually the same sound. It's like a noise pluggy kind of diva sound. On here, just channel EQ, cutting the low, cutting a little bit the high, boosting some frequencies, just a little. And then a compressor also just to level it out a little. Reverb. Also here, Valhalla Vintage Reverb. And there is a delay effect already in Diva. Very simple sound. Nothing fancy about it. No fancy plugins that I've used. No fancy queuing, compression. Like this is all basic, basic standard. I think every one of you can follow this and make something that sounds the same. just some small effects a little bit of ear candy and you've got something that is interesting over time sounds decently mixed so that no one could ever complain nothing is clashing and as you as you can see I, I haven't used a ton of plugins like this is, is it's so basic it's so minimal there is nothing no multi-band compression let's maybe check really quick the master so everyone believes me there's just a pro L on there just giving it the little squish and that's it. Span is there, just like to check frequencies and stuff, but it doesn't do anything to the sound. Simple, simple. Everyone should be able to do something like this within their first year, maybe one and a half years of music production. The trick about it is getting to that point. Like it took me a while because I had way more elements in there. They all didn't contribute to the sound. I had melodies in there. On top of that, which was already too much, I wanted to keep it simple and more clubby and more like dark and melancholic. It's like making uh, booze. You like you start with the liquid and then you distill it down to like the core essence and make it stronger and stronger and stronger. And that's kind of what you end up with. It takes a lot. But recreating this and following this kind of principle where less is more should be should be quite easy most of the music i listen to by beginners is either musically wrong it is way too full 
or it's way too full and at the same time without any change from beginning to the end. It's very important to make it interesting. It would be like watching an action movie that is just action scenes for the full duration. You need ups and downs, relaxed parts, more intense parts, so you feel them more intense. That's really important to take your listener on a small journey, kind of. Tell, tell a story in the way that you have like different sections that make sense following each other. And that's, that's basically it. I will now spend the rest of the day to add some drums for the second part, because just what I have right now isn't enough. We need like a hi-hat, offbeat hi-hat, maybe a clap, a snare. I did something, I'll play it to you really quick, but I'm not happy right now. It just doesn't, doesn't flow as it should. I don't know, it's like, it doesn't, it doesn't flow the way it should flow. So I will replace it, um, principle, and the amount of elements is the right, but the, the kind of elements are the wrong ones. So I'll adjust it, keep you updated, hopefully finish the song within a week or two, and then get it out on Lost Frequencies label. Again, if you're interested in samples and stuff like that, all linked down below in the description. Thanks all for watching, see you tomorrow back again here in the studio.